All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And as you can see, man, playing a little bit of Undisputed here, you know, post the most recent update, added a few new fighters and such. Most of you guys already know that I'm playing with one of them now here on the right-hand side, Sergio Martinez, you know, very slick fighter, man. I always enjoy watching Sergio. So I tried to, you know, decided to go ahead and give him a shot here, man, just to see how he moves. And what this video is basically going to be about is me just, you know, kind of providing some somewhat commentary to the action and giving some of my feedback. Um, I think it's very important, you know, persons like myself or all of you guys in the community that really want a great game is to provide feedback, you know, while we have the ear of a development team, you know, guys who are attempting to make an authentic uh, game, you know, and repl replicating the sport the best way they can and shooting for simulation, <laughs> you're still going to see me punch a little bit too much here. Um, and I think that happens, you know, I think that happens with many of us in sports. You know, you have to not be so impatient, if you will, and you'll slip into some of that button mashing. But some of the things that I want to talk about, and, uh, and of course, not not every single thing. We all know what things need to happen in this game for it to be a wonderful success, you know, with the, the roadmap that they have. And so I'm not going to get into all of that stuff. I'm really just going to comment on the current state of the game. Each time they do an update, maybe I'll comment on the current state. And what I want to talk about in this one, man, is I still feel like there needs to be a little more effectiveness, um, you know, when you're getting the best of your opponent. Am I asking for it to be a knockout all the time? Absolutely not. I'm definitely not asking for that. But I do feel like there should be a little more attention paid to, you know, when you are just teeing off on someone, you know, where, I mean, you're getting four or five shots at once. I would like to see a little more adjustment, you know, by the AI. See, like right here, he's doing a pretty decent job. He's backing up and things of that nature. But I really just want to see more opportunities where you could possibly, you know, get rocked. You know, if you get caught in like a six punch sequence, I need to see you take a little more, you know, damage or react to it a little more than what, what's currently being showcased. I will say another thing that I was testing in this particular video is just seeing if I could outbox this guy and seeing how the scorecards uh, would work out, even though I will honestly say at the end of this fight, I skipped past it by accident. But you are going to at least be able to see the predictive scorecard. And it definitely looks like that they've, uh, and I don't know how I keep doing it. I keep clenching by accident. But it definitely seems like the predictive scorecard is more realistic because, you know, in my opinion, as you're watching this footage, I'm doing my thing in terms of boxing this guy or at least being more effective. But again, you're going to see some sequences, and you may have already seen a few of them, where I'm just teeing off on this dude, and it's almost like he's not reacting to it at all. See, like some of those shots, those clean shots that I just threw there, I need to see, you know, I need to see the opponent. And, you know, of course, I'm fighting the CPU here. And, and let me say this. This particular footage is on intermediate. I'm going to start going up higher just to see how, you know, things fare. But this is on intermediate. I'm playing, you know, the simulation mode where you're not seeing the HUD and stuff like that. So I do wonder if the CPU reacts a little differently the higher I go up. But again, I'm just talking about the reaction to some of these punches. It's almost like he's not even feeling them. You know what I'm saying? And this is probably feedback that a lot of you guys have already given even before this update. But like, like right there, man rocked him with that left i mean that right hand excuse me right hand counter like so it are, is everybody going to be able to walk through these things <laughs> or are we going to see any any points um as the game continues to develop are some guys you know their chin is going to be better than others which i can respect that and i don't know if this guy has a chin or not so if, if what i'm saying is wrong some of you guys please correct me but i'm just talking overall Overall, I don't feel like it demonstrates a guy getting teed off on and him reacting to it, whether that's him, you know, getting mad and punching back. You know, some some boxes, if you catch them, they got to catch you right back, whether it's him doing that, whether it's them, you know, backing up more and now trying to fight from a distance, not just backing up, you know, like 
like very mechanic like well oh, i got hit let me back up and let me go right back in like no he is is his fight style going to change throughout the remaining rounds because he realizes he's already <laughs> getting teed off on in early rounds things like that but even even if we're not even talking that detail i just want to see more damage and or reaction you know fatigue something because as you saw in the corner his fatigue his stamina still hasn't really gone down my stamina has gone down more than his all of these punches should be taking a toll on this dude even though it's, it's early in the fight you know it's only the third round here but you'll see let's look at some more of this action see if i can catch another uh, that was a nice counter by him but now my stamina is low got to back up and regain but I think I'm going to catch him a few more times here where I'm catching him with like three and four shots in a row. But I know for sure as you watch this footage, you've already seen some of those situations there. All right, let's see what else we can get here. You know, I'm just trying to cover up and move, tagging him with that left hand. Like I was sticking him crazy with the lead left. You know, the straight left hand. And I'm, I've walked, you know, walked into my punch. <laughs> you know, I'm coming with momentum and connected. And I, again, I just don't feel like these guys react to the punch well enough. Like, see, he's eating all of these punches. And again, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say that every time you land or connect, it's a knockout. No. But there should be some consequence or something mentally that causes you to say, all right, I got to readjust. Like, I'm eating too many of these punches. And I don't see the CPU, and I'm, you know, obviously you can't measure that against another user because that's a user controlling it. But I think this is going to be a game that a lot of people are playing offline. But look at the stamina difference here. Clearly, I'm winning the fight. Now, how is it that his stamina is still <laughs> way more than mine? I understand that I'm punching a lot, and that should drain my stamina. Yes. But he also should be taking a little as big of a hit on his stamina as I am because I'm landing more shots. And as you can see here, predictive card right on the money. Right on the money. I'm wearing this dude out. Absolutely. So let's see what happens here, man, as the video is about to wrap up here very soon. See what else is going on here. You know, I just feel like that some of these shots, especially counter shots, they have to matter more. Like maybe more flash knockouts and things like that. But I don't want it to become a, a knockout fest where every time you get hit, I just need to be, see more realistic reaction and or damage happening. And there was a little glitch there in the frame right there. And I don't have a beast computer, guys, so forgive me. You know, I will be upgrading sooner or later. Some of you guys can give me, you know, some opinions on what I might need to get. And right now, I'm averaging anywhere from like 30 to 60 frames, you know, with most of my games. But like I said, I don't have a beast computer. Whoa, oh my God! What a left hand! As you can see there, <laughs> I get knocked out. And honestly, I'm not mad at that because, again, sometimes when you get hit clean like that, that's what's going to happen. So I'm not even mad that I got knocked out right there. I was exposed. Got hit clean, and there you have it. But I definitely appreciate how this played out. I mean, beautiful counter shot. And again, like I said, one shot can end the fight. So I'm cool with that. But I just want that other stuff that I talk about to be a factor as well. So there you have it. I'm seeing some good things, but definitely still some things to be worked on. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.